Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number three of the Game Speak. My name is Fake Thriller, and joining me today we have Stube67, Snoob603, Veggie530, and today we have a special guest, uh, MYM777. So, everyone, how's it going? What's up? Cool. All right. Um, <laughs> we'll start it off. I guess we'll throw it to you, MYM. We're going to call you Kyle from now on because that's your name and it's easier to say. Um, so you want to give us like a quick introduction, tell us about yourself? Yeah, sure. Like you said, uh, my name's Kyle, and uh play on the PS3, mostly play Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I do YouTube commentaries, uh, mostly informative, just to try to help people get better at it. And uh, yeah, it should be interesting. Cool. Looking forward to it. Cool, cool, cool. Um, does anyone have any anything new or exciting to talk about before we, you know, dive into the, you know, the pre-listed topics and stuff anyone want to talk about any games they're playing or actually let's go around and let's talk about all the games that we've all played in the past like week or so is everyone just playing black <coughs> ops or anyone playing anything different i've been playing a lot of trials hd yeah trials hd which is like right. one of the most frustrating games i've ever played yeah i don't know if anyone else here has played it it's so, only, no, for the X- only for the xbox oh right right it's like a motorcycle game where you try and go down the track as fast as you can. It, it's basically a new age Excite Bike, but like, yeah, way, t- way cooler. Yeah, like you know, you remember Excite Bike from the NES, where you would be able to like, you'd have to do like certain like, like hit certain jumps perfectly to make it through the track faster and everything. It's like that, only it's like HD and it's on the Xbox. I have stuff. a couple of videos up on my channel. Yeah. So, nice. bro, so what's what's your channel name? Nice plug. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How would one find right said channel? <laughs> uh, it's uh, uh, YouTube dot com slash stube six seven. Sweet. I have a couple of videos up. I mean, they're not pro scores, but they're pr- they're good for me. So yeah, it, it's like a game that's all about leaderboards and stuff like that. Doing the same level a hundred times until you hit it perfectly and and all that. It, it'll uh, it'll mentally break you down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, anybody else playing anything other than Call of Duty? No. Nope. Uh, I've been playing uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. Oh yeah, we talked about that which, last week. Which uh. I beat it. I beat it on the hardest difficulty. Yeah. And I was looking at everything you need to get like a platinum trophy or whatever. Yep. And it is so insane that I'm not. I'm done. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? I got, Do you remember I got what specifically? Seventy percent of the trophies, and I'm done. <laughs> Is that, like, what specifically turned you off? Do you remember what the challenge was? Yeah, they got uh, the challenge mode, basically, where, you know, some maps you have to, uh, like, go around and taking everybody down silently on right. a particular part of uh, the first or the the uh, single player, you know, maps. Yep. Yep. And then the other ones you have to continually, like, beat up, you know, like 100 people, whatever. And just some of the challenges, like you have to basically get a perfect score on all of them to get I, the platinum trophy, and yeah, I, I'm not willing to invest that kind of time. I remember doing <laughs> it. Not into Batman. I remember doing it because um, I have a platinum because I'm clearly better than you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it is hard. Like I, I, the last like because those the ones where you just beat everyone up, you literally have to do it perfectly and not break the combo at all. Yeah, you have to like just beat them up, jump over, beat them up, jump over, and just like, yeah, yeah. I, that seems like so mundane to me for after I don't know a little while. <laughs> hey, Stubes, are you still on the call? Yeah, my 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 uh, display driver crashed. <laughs> and, uh, That's a new it move. Sucks. It's a new <laughs> move. It happens to me sometimes. Uh, I'm sorry. So would your whole like screen crash and everything, or is it just like your? Yeah, it happens on my browser sometimes. I don't I don't know what happened. Um but I could I'm still on the call, but I don't know if I can log back in. What, to the video? Or what? Yeah, yeah to the video. So everything is back working fine on your computer, just the, for whatever reason your video's gone? Yeah, I'm on Skype, yeah. Do you what? I have four black boxes in front of me, it's all going haywire. What would fix it if you you had to do a quick reboot or something? Uh, probably just on Skype. Yeah, go go for it. I'll add you back to the call. And we'll talk about you while you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's already gone. Oh, I'm still here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, tell us when you're gone. <laughs> All right. 
I think he's gone. So yeah, that's the only thing I've been playing is Batman. I, that's a good you know, game I, though. Yeah, um, I played a little bit of Call of Duty this week, but not, not actually very much. I think I played a little bit on like Sunday, and I played for like 20 minutes before I got on here, and that's about it. That was double XP, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was double XP. Because yeah, the new maps come. I just realized, um, wow, Stoob's leaving just totally boned the uh, the stream <laughs> right now. All the cameras are misaligned. <laughs> Veggie's split in, in half. And, <laughs> um, yes. I'm apparently Veggie now. <laughs> yeah, you're Veggie. MYM is Stoob's. Oh, there's Stoob's. Yay. All right, you fixed it. <laughs> I was looking on the stream, I'm like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming back. <laughs> I'm like, Kyle's me. So did did everyone, um, I mean, I guess we got about nine minutes into the podcast before we're going to start talking about Call of Duty, but did everyone download, does everyone have all the new maps for yes. PS3? Yeah. I haven't gotten the latest one yet. Because I just realized the day it came out, we downloaded it, at least me... Me, Snoob, and Stoobs all downloaded it, but then I think we had one person join our party that we were playing in, so we didn't play <laughs> on any of the new maps. I think, yeah, I think it was Iron Fruit, but I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, yeah, we get, we ended up playing with like a bunch of our subscribers, which yeah, kind of sucked. Like you put the money into it, and you're like, and oh, I want to play new maps, but even then we get that one person that ruins it. <laughs> we didn't even get to play. I think the second map pack. No, we didn't. But we were stuck on like the first one, and it was totally worth it. And think about our kills. Our win streak is still running. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we kind of destroyed it. Um, this isn't in the topic list or anything, but since we're talking about maps, I just found this article on uh, Joystick dot com about another Call of Duty map pack, um, which is a little different. It's did did you guys? What did you guys buy? When did you just buy the regular version, or did you buy like the prestige version or the hardened edition or something when you bought black ops i got the regular regular i got the hardened one and it came with this sweet metal Uh, this like tin which is kind of useless and then it came with this like zombie metal thing which is pointless to have but the other thing that it came with that a lot of people wanted was all the zombie maps from world at war oh yeah and so on august 23rd i guess Treyarch is releasing like you were you haven't been able to get those maps unless you got the hardened edition up until now. So they're That's having really one, lame. Yeah, they're having one final map pack come out on the twenty third of August that gives you I think it's three more zombie maps from World at War and then um they give you something else too. I got those maps just because somebody gave me the code because they didn't want it. So, <laughs> oh, there you go. so it's actually it's four it's four remastered maps. And there was one thing that I wanted to read in here because it was kind of weird. It says um, so the four new maps, and then it says along with a brand new moon level, like you're playing on the moon or something. Huh. It says yes, weird. yes. By the way, this is really talking about fighting zombies on the moon. <laughs> so that's kind of it's kind of. I like I zombies, but unfortunately, I generally. Like, I'll play it for a couple of hours, and then I'm done with it for, like, a month. Like, a couple of <laughs> hours because you're really good, and you get that's to, like, level 65, or... Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, no. It's like, like high... that's the, the minimum amount of time is about an hour you could put into that game. If you're good yeah. at it. Like, I think, yeah. I think me and Snoob and... <laughs> Maybe, I think our best 13? Was, yeah, I think we got to around 13, like, I don't know. We probably played 50 times, and we got to round 13, like 40 of those times. <laughs> Same level, too, over yeah, and over again, like, didn't even mix it up. Do, this is fine. We, we failed miserably, like 10 times in a row. We'll be like, all right, we should probably call it a night. Yeah. The highest I've gotten to is 35, and it was two hours and 45 minutes. And by that time, I was so sick of it. I was like, guys, I got to go. So I just quit. Like, it didn't even save it to, to the leaderboards or nothing. Oh. I was like, I'm out of here. It's not even worth dying. Well, because you. I mean, I guess you would stay in the game for as long as your teammates could go, right? Like, if yeah, you, even I mean, if you just kept killing yourself, you would just lay there on the floor until, if a new round started, you'd respawn, so. Yeah, I, I just couldn't take it anymore. It's like, I can't sit here for this long. People are, like, <laughs> really <laughs> into it, though. Like, there's whole YouTube channels that they don't even post, like, multiplayer gameplay. They just post zombie gameplay, and I guess they're really good at it. And, like, they have a pretty big following. Yeah, there's a system to it, like running around and what routes to take, and yeah, and it's kind of time consuming. When you watch somebody that's good at it, it makes it look really easy. 
but for some and reason. And you think, I'm like, how the hell did you learn all this? You must have really nothing to do. <laughs> well, if you're talking about an hour and 45 minutes, like, it's a like, pop. Go over to this room and, and take this teleporter, then run around here, and then... Yeah. Repeat Here's 18 times. Else. Yeah, repeat over and over again. That's like the whole goal, I'm pretty sure, is to open up a looping cycle that you can just run and have the zombies chase you all in one big Congo line. It's yeah. definitely a nice change from the, from the multiplayer, though. Yeah, do you yeah, play? Zombie. Do you play I've, zombies? I've done it a little bit. I mean, I got into it for like a couple a couple weeks ago, but then we haven't done it since. But it's definitely time consuming. But you know, yeah. after you play multiplayer so many times, you know, yeah. going from that to having like a pack of punched ray guns definitely seems a lot more cool than just running <laughs> out the Famas all the time. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's definitely a lot of fun. Yeah. So, um, getting back to what everyone else is. Um, playing i i personally have been playing god of war 3 again and i don't know if anyone here has played it all the way through but i actually like for the first time in a very long time i rage quit out of like a single player campaign <laughs> and i feel like i feel like really bad about it because it's not supposed <laughs> to like get the better of me it's supposed to be like nice fun gameplay and uh, man i played that game did and you? I wanted to beat it on what? What is a hard mode? Titan mode? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I played it on Titan mode, and finally I got to a certain point in the game where it's like I can't take it anymore. I've got to lower the difficulty. This is not fun. <laughs> yeah. And I shit you not, I lower the difficulty, walk up a flight of stairs, and I'm fighting Zeus in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Ew. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, I could have just done one more boss fight and that's it. <laughs> Could have just stuck with it. See, the thing I like about the game is normal mode is called god mode. So it makes you feel like a badass because you're like I play, on, I play on god mode. It's no big deal. But the, the thing I don't like about the game, which a lot of games do now, is if you get owned over and over again at the same spot, it'll pop up with a notification asking you if they want if you want to lower the difficulty. It'll say, would oh, you like to switch so to easy annoying. mode? And I'm like, fuck you. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm going to do this. See, I was in the same boat as Veggie. I still haven't beaten it. I got to the point where you fight one of the Titans like in that kind of like lava field. And I, I, I don't know, probably spent like 20 minutes, half an hour playing that one spot. I couldn't figure it out. But Kronos, the big brown guy? Yeah, oh. but like that, the very first time I put it in, I was like, I can play this thing on the hardest difficulty. Yeah, and I got to the same point as Veggie, but difference is I got into it about like literally thirty seconds into the game. I was like, nope. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <hard."> <laughs> like, I was like, you, <laughs> I thought you said you got to the same point as Veggie. I was like, you didn't get to Zeus. You just get, said you got stuck on a boss fight. But I think I'm pretty close to the end of the game. And uh, if anyone's interested. You can go to my YouTube channel and see Let's Play. See. I actually watched it. I want to say who you beat Hercules and then get through Poseidon's uh, lair or whatever it is because at that point, I, that was another thing. Like, It made me realize I can never do my own Let's Play because I am terribly slow at these games. Like, I love them, Yeah, but it's not my forte. Like, First-person shooters, I I'm good at, but... Like, out of war, I'm, like, walking around for, like, almost an hour. I'm like, how the fuck do you get through here? And then I finally found that room with the porters. I'm like, oh, burp. Well, uh, I've, I've done some clever some clever editing after the fact. You just, oh. like, cl like, crop, like, a 25-minute part out. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, or, like, yeah, like, I, I, I know in an episode that's coming up, I don't know what one it's going to be, but I know I cut out my first three attempts at a boss fight. Because oh, I just got kicked around, and I was getting, like, really mad. And so I was like, there's no point in letting somebody, like, watch me fail over and over again, so I'll just cut it out, and you can't even tell the difference. But one of the problems I ran, ran into with posting this Let's Play was um, there's some naked ladies in that game. Yes. And I don't know, <laughs> like, I cut out the entire part. Like, it's like a staple in the God of War games. I don't know if you played any of the other ones, but... Every so often, or like at least once in the game, you'll come across like a room with like two chicks that are making out and they're like topless, and then you can. Oh, get, you get to get in there and rail that. Yeah, you get in there and it's like a little <laughs> mini game where you tap the buttons and you hear them like getting busy off screen and everything, and uh, that that's fine. Like I don't have a problem. Like I well, I cut that whole part out just because I don't need like all the graphic stuff. But there's there's key parts of the story that have like girls like tits hanging out. Like Kratos yes. is like talking to him and everything, and I'm like, "Am I going to get in trouble for this?" 
<laughs> Dude, and I, I love that game for that. I, I don't I don't care what anybody says. I, when I was growing up, I had the biggest crush on that redhead from Roger Rabbit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jessica it Rabbit. Me animated nudity all day. I don't care. Like, it's just, it's awesome. <laughs> well, and I, out of war, they do a good job. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> Technology has <laughs> like, come a long like way. Like, they make it look like Beverly Hills or something. You know? Yeah. <laughs> So I think, well, I, I know there's one part in the Let's Play that I tried to blur the entire scene out. Like, there's a, in, in Sony Vegas, there's a, a feature where you can pixelate a scene. And I added that, and it looked pixelated in my preview window, but then after I rendered it, it turned out not to be very <laughs> pixelated at all. Like, you could pretty much see everything, and I was like, I really don't feel like waiting an hour and a half for this render again, so I'm posting it. And, I mean, I get, like, six views on each of my Let's Play episodes, so I'm not too worried about it right now but i wonder if that's against the rules or i mean hell i don't know it's mature content like nah, i'm sure it'll be okay it's no worse yeah. than like the violence aspect you know right well yeah to us there's no difference but then you get those fucking nuts out there like oh it's a big difference and yeah it's just a whole other story yeah 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 so that's good other than that i've been doing the um the road to nuke. Do you want to talk about that at all, Snoo? The... <sighs> Fucking road to nuke, man. <laughs> Veggie, have you seen what we're doing? Yeah, the... and you guys are braver than me because yeah. I get frustrated going for a nuke when I've got Harrier Chopper Gunner on. Yeah, well, uh, dude, you know, that's just when I'm using just a normal, you know, normal gun setup, not picking up other people's weapons. Like, right. Well, we're allowed to use confused. Harrier Chopper Gunner, but it's it's like hard to get a Harrier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the oh, episode I'm no, the episode I'm supposed to post tonight, uh probably not gonna get through till tomorrow morning because I didn't get a chance to edit it yet. Not this one, that's episode nine. Episode ten, I actually put a pretty good run on it, and I don't have chopper gunner. I only had uh Predator Missile, Harriers, and my mm -hmm. nuke. And I got like I got I g I won't tell you exactly what I got to, but You have to tune like, in oh, to find shit. out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I, dude, I got really close in regards to having you know very low kill streaks. Like I only got one kill from a predator, and the harrier didn't really much do shit. But I was putting the herd on these kids, and dude, with chopper gunner, like I think I'm only three the like three ranks away from getting it. And I think once I get that, it's still hard. Like there's no doubt about it. It's ridiculously hard. But I'm pretty sure once I get that chopper gunner, I'll, I'll probably be able to wrap it up within a handful of episodes. Well, if you have a harrier that's gonna get you to the chopper gunner. Then and, and then hopefully you can let that Harrier hover for another 20 seconds. It can get you one or two more kills. And, like, would you do that, or would you call in the chopper gunner right away? Well, it depends, because, like, I noticed in one of your videos that we talked about it on the side personally is you've been getting into lobbies where these kids are playing like it's the first day this game's come out, and they don't know how to shoot down air support whatsoever, and not a single one's running cold-blooded. Right. Last night, for shits and giggles, I was like, J just to make myself feel good, I need to get a nuke. So, you know, when Harry, I went to back to my Snoo603 um, <coughs> account, and I went Harrier, Chopper Gunner, Nuke. And there was one game where I got the Chopper Gunner twice. And I got a really good, like, I was like, I got to Harrier, no problem. I dropped it, and that got me my Chopper Gunner. And it, it, that's all it did. I only got the four kills. So then I got the Chopper Gunner out. All of a sudden, everyone on the map disappears. They all go cold-blooded. And the uh. next thing you know, fucking rockets are flying up every two seconds. I'm like... What so, the shit? <laughs> so they might not worry about Harriers as much as they'd worry about a chopper gunner? Yeah, apparently, because, like, I, I had no problem finding him. I, I, I think I only encountered one person that was running cold-blooded, and then as soon as my chopper gunner comes up, and I get, like, I think I got two or three kills with it, that was it. Everyone disappeared, and I couldn't get a nuke. Like, Yeah, so, that kind of sucks. My, yeah, that's the only <laughs> thing I'm worrying about. Like, if I get into a good lobby, like someone mentioned, maybe I should go ahead and delete the map pack and just play all the noobs on the regular maps... And that'll give me a pretty good chance, but I, I don't. You know, I, I get to use a chopper gunner, so I don't want to make it too too easy. It's not easy. No, you, it's even not. with a chopper gunner, dude. <laughs> it's tough. It, it really is. But yeah. I, I don't know. I relish it. It's a fun challenge. Like I want to quit the challenge and do a race to nuke one man army danger close. <laughs> <laughs> See how fast I can get there. <laughs> Well, yeah. that would just be one episode. They just gotta literally put up a like, timer between our yeah. two gameplays. <laughs> it's literally a race. Who can, <laughs> who can do it? 
We should actually do that. I, I was thinking about just doing it like sense. after after the fact, just just for fun to show like what these kids are doing yep. and how easy it would be. But actually, you know what we should do? You should run the one man army danger close noob tube, and I should run marathon lightweight commando. Yeah, I actually think, <laughs> believe it or not, I think <laughs> I've knife. Yep. Yeah, I think I've had my streaks messed up more by MLC knifers than I have uh, noob tubes. Oh, dude, they're brutal. So far. They're, like, all over the place. And the thing is, is, like, people that run around with the tack knife now do it with, on the deagle. So oh yeah, you kill the guy that's, like, about to knife you, and then, great, you get to pick up a tack knife deagle, which is as good as useless. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Um, moving on, I guess let's talk about some of these these topics here i think we'll go did anybody watch this video that i posted in here about the unlimited detail reel uh or real-time rendering technology that's mixing up youtube right now no i will go to it and it's but I it's a long it. video you don't have to worry about it basically what it is is some company some software development company has come out of the like out of the blue saying that they've developed a way uh to basically eliminate or, or change the video game development process because, at, like, you, as you might know or might not know, everything that's in a video game is made up of polygons right now. Like, every character, every, like, vehicle, everything. So mm -hmm. the way they make, more like, things look better and more detailed is they add more polygons to it. So what this this new technology is supposed to be is it's replacing the polygons with tiny little, like, atom pixels they, they call them atoms basically so instead of having like a character that's made up of like a thousand polygon uh, polygons it would be a character made up of like 20 million atoms so it would allow for like all this like realism and detail and everything and i don't know if it's real or not to be honest i've actually heard rumor that these guys are like trolling the internet and put out this <coughs> video like saying they have this unreal technology. Um, so I just threw it in there because I thought it might be kind of interesting because if it was real, it, it would, like, step video games up, like, through the roof. It would put... I mean, because then it would go from, like, a building could get blown apart and instead of, like, it breaking into, like, five big chunks, it would, like, be able to obliterate and have dust be thrown and have different size rocks falling and everything like that, but... That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> it's something it's something we just have to sort of wait and see because people have said that they they haven't posted anything in a year, these people. They kinda came out last year, told everyone about the technology, and then they didn't do anything with it. And then they came out a year later, which was just a few days ago, and said, This is what we've been working on and it's really awesome, but you can't see it, but it's you, awesome. <laughs> yeah. They, well they showed you like some examples, but to be honest, it kinda looks like they could have just like pre-rendered like and spent a lot of time making these these examples the traditional way um but that's kind of a boring topic and i don't think anyone really cares about it so let's move on well i mean you guys all have the show notes up is there any one of these ones that you necessarily want to talk about like right off the right off the bat or well like, we can steer clear uh, of cod and B uh, bf3 because we've hit that a lot sorry veggie go ahead I was going to say, it, I thought it was interesting that uh, the PlayStation 4 uh, has been confirmed and talked about, which is yes. kind of weird because everything I've always heard about the PlayStation 3 is that it was going to last a very long time. Yeah, I think it was supposed to have and, a 10-year life cycle. Yeah, and as it is, they came out a year after the Xbox, and now they're making the other one. Like, well, how long... Two years, three years, like how long, much longer before we're going to see that, I wonder. I think, I mean, I'm not an industry expert or anything, but I would say I know that <clears throat> it's almost considered a mistake, um, or not a mistake, but that Microsoft had a huge advantage by being out for an entire year before the PlayStation 3 launched. And then when the PlayStation oh, 3 evident. did launch, yeah. it was like $600. So people were like, yep. no, nah, I'm going to buy a $400 Xbox. Sorry. Um, so it's it's like, what position do you take now if you're Sony? Do you maybe rush your next console to get it out at least in the same season as Microsoft, and maybe not have the 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 best thing that you could make if you added another year to the development cycle, or do you just 
buck up and wait an extra year. Well, they can't fall behind again. That no. that would be that would be absolute suicide because the PlayStation Three got hurt really bad by being a year behind. Uh, because everybody already bought a system by then, right? And even if they hadn't, you know, the price tag, just everything, and they also, I mean, they have to do some other things that are better with the development of it because the the interface system on the PlayStation Network is terrible compared to Xbox Live. Yeah, it's uh, Netflix is better, but aside from that, I mean, it's a pain in the ass to do anything on the PlayStation Three compared to doing it on the Xbox with the. Uh, with, when you're comparing the live features to the cross media bar, right, and they've got to change their software in terms of that, and then on top of that, they have to get out before or at least at the same time as the ex- the next Xbox, because uh, it's just going to be a waste. Because the PlayStation Two was, I mean, that's still I think the uh, largest selling console that ever was, yeah, yep. and by far the most popular, and it had great games on it. It blew the Xbox out of the water. They still put out games like, yeah, like, they do. What's it like? Captain America just came out. I think it might have been on the PS2, as long well, as well. And as, they still they're still releasing like games that came out on the PlayStation 2, like on the on the PlayStation Network, like God of War and God of War 2. Yeah. Resident Evil 4 is I think is also going to be out on uh, probably Xbox Live as well. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. It will. But it's going to be out on the PlayStation Network. Uh, remastered in HD, they there's just so many great games on the PlayStation 2, and as far as things go now, to me the PlayStation 2 is still the best console that they've ever had, and it's better than the PS3, <laughs> not graphics wise, right, obviously. Right, right. In terms but, of overall achievements. Oh yeah, that yeah. that yeah. game had so many, gr- or that system had so many great games on it, and you know that was before the the internet boom hit. Which I, I guess Sony just didn't know how to handle effectively. <laughs> well, they had a modem and everything for the PS2 that you could actually plug into the back, and I think you could yeah, play it like just the wasn't or- quite as yeah popular. the original <laughs> SOCOM you could play online and stuff. I yeah. think uh, another possibility we got to look at is you know this could just all be a PR stunt because you know with the PSN network going down a couple months ago, you know yeah Stone- Sony's stock took a huge hit. I mean they lost like. Almost two hundred million dollars, if I can recall from the article, just from you know after the news hit, you know the network was down almost a month. Right. And I mean, you know, realistically speaking, they might not even be developing this for you know another couple of years. But if anything, you know, the stockholders hearing something about this, you know, might just be, you know, who knows? It might just be a smokescreen, just another like a morale uh, buff well, or something like that. I don't know if they can be directly dishonest like that and affect stock prices, but. They may be at such a low level of development. I mean, they may be looking at what they want it to be shaped like right. and say they're developing. <laughs> like, yep. do we want it to right. be a square or a circle? Yeah, you know? it goes right. back to that. <laughs> I mean, they could kind of be jumping the gun. Right. Like, yeah, we're developing it. We're going to use the exact same controllers, so we're making those. Well, that, <laughs> that's know? actually um, like talking about how you can sort of be misleading in your in your PR and everything. Um, White boy. What? <laughs> Nothing. Keep going. What? Keep going. Just stir in the pot. Did you say white boy? <laughs> yeah. No. 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 no yes. I, I don't. I don't even understand that reference. But what I was gonna say was Nintendo, and this is actually um, the the Wii U. Have you have you guys seen any of the footage from it? No. Like no. It it's it it basically looks like an upgraded Wii, and um, the reason I I don't even I don't even necessarily want to talk about the Wii U, but in terms of being misleading. When Nintendo was showing off um, like promos for the Wii, uh, the Wii U at E3, I think it was, they actually used footage um, of Xbox, the Xbox 360 version and PS3 versions of Madden 12 that are oh, going to be yeah. coming out. And they said, yeah, I mean, our system is going to be as good as those, so we figured it was okay if we... If we said this, and it's like, oh, I guess you can try and get away with whatever you with whatever you want, and you just better hope nobody calls bullshit. Yeah, that's on, pretty messed up. On what you're especially doing, especially from the most popular console right now, too. Yeah, right? you would in think- terms of sales, sales. Yeah. So, and that sort of ties talking about the Wii. Um, the Wii U ties into what we were talking about with system release dates. Um, does it, I mean, you guys just said you haven't even seen anything with the Wii U? I is it safe to assume that nobody's interested? Well, yeah, I've not l- looked into. I mean, I, I have a Wii. Yeah. But man, I don't remember <laughs> the last time I picked it up, and 
Like it, it was kind of fun playing the original Mario Brothers and some of the other Mario games I had. Yeah. But I I can't really get into the whole motion control thing yet. I I know Connect is out and PS3 has that uh, that thing that's compatible with Killzone 3. The move. You know that's mo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, PlayStation Move. But I I just can't get into that. I mean, if I really want to be moving around, shit, I'll go outside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? yeah. like, go play some Nerf. Like, you know, I go to play guns. video games so I don't have to move around and wave my <laughs> arms and you know, yeah. and, and all that shit. Like, I, it really just drives me nuts. Yeah, yeah. I look at I it mean, as kind of a novelty. Well, and the other thing I don't like is almost every game, even Heavy Rain, when it has there's like the motion control, like the PlayStation controller has, they always make you do this like jacking off motion with something. <laughs> I don't care what it is. It could be getting like an enemy off your back or whatever, but they want you to jack it off. Like, like, quick. That's how you have to do it. <laughs> Double fist pump. <laughs> it drives me nuts. Like <laughs> I can't take it. Like Somebody walks into the room and I'm sitting there doing this. You know, I... <laughs> It's embarrassing. I can't talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who that? Let me just beat this one guy. <laughs> I'm almost out. Yeah, so I, I'm not big into the Wii. Uh, just because of that, really. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing all of us here, you know, are pretty big into FPS games. And, you know, just playing on the Wii, it just isn't practical. Like, they're so far behind as far as technology for first-person shooters. I mean, yeah, you know, it doesn't really make sense to it. I mean... Like you, like I have a uh, my sister has a Wii and like playing Mario or like the old school Nintendo games. You know that's fun and all, but when it comes to like, you know, like the larger uh, population based games, you know where there's Black Ops. I mean, has has online. I've seen footage on YouTube of of Wii Black Ops, and it was on like uh, the one I'm thinking of was on firing range, and they still have to use that trick. Like it's such a uh, like an intensive game that. You like you can see like the white abyss like that's like twenty yards away like it can't load that far away and so you like run closer <laughs> and then it like blocks so you, in. A fisticuffs just put out a video using it this morning and yesterday of uh, of Wii Black Ops. Yeah, I couldn't really. I, I saw some of it on my phone, so it wasn't really that clear. Plus, I have a cracked screen. But uh, he said it was. He said he had a lot of fun doing it because it wasn't like he said it was one a, a, a lot of bullshit like you get in. You know, Xbox or PS3. He said it was like just straight gun on gun. He said he had a good time. Yeah. I mean, and everybody probably sucks. <laughs> well, I mean, I think it can only be so good when you're using a, a Wii controller. Yeah. He said it, it took, took him a while to get used to. It's all. It's just weird. But well, uh, well, yeah. Like I don't know if you ever played a game like that, but you got to hold. Like you're pointing at the screen. So like, I don't. I mean, I don't know if Black Ops is like it, but if you like take a break for a second and put your arms down your cursor goes shooting to the to like the bottom corner of the screen and your guy starts like looking at the floor and everything you're like oh shit oh i'm back i'm back looks like a split screener <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so they don't get any uh down uh, map packs or nothing like that no they don't get anything i mean uh, the game is like a watered down version anyway like on firing range there's there's um like cars and stuff are replaced by barrels or like a tree <laughs> Instead of like having to load like these things that could explode. <laughs> well, you know, and the graphics too. Like I, I was always kind of a graphic whore because I really like games that look good and sound good. Yeah. Uh, so graphics and sound games that look good and sound good. You know, I tend to enjoy. And on the Wii, I mean, they're last generation graphics. And yes. I mean, to me, that's just kind of, I don't know, counterintuitive. Obviously, it's worked. Uh, because of who the Wii appeals to, but yeah, I mean, as far as like getting a lot of games on it, like you know, yeah, it it it, it doesn't even like, and that's the thing is their new system that they're coming out with is is going to be like slightly more powerful than the 360 or the PS3, so they'll be ahead for about six months, and then the PS4 and the 720 will come out and destroy it, and then they'll have the same problem where they they're living in like. A generation behind, as far as graphics are concerned. Um, but that's good about that. I say we talk about. Is is anyone here play Diablo? Nope. Okay. The the reason I put this article in here, it's not so much about Diablo three. It's more about um, the DRM that Blizzard is putting into. Diablo 3, which if you don't know, a DRM is like, is like sort of like a security verification thing that 
they're making it so you you flat out can't play the game unless you're connected to the internet and sign in through their servers, even mm-hmm. though it's like a single player game with a campaign. Um, would you guys have any problem with that? Like, let's say you wanted to sit down and play Black Ops, but you know the PSN is down, so you can't play. Like, it seems like a stupid move by developers. Well, I, yeah. I I would have a problem with it just because you know where I live, I don't actually have internet. I you know I have to go to my fiance's house to to play on the internet. So I mean, I I have satellite internet, but I doubt that would help me. Right. <laughs> for in terms of that. Right. I mean, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, especially if, like you said, you know, Diablo is single player based. I mean, why do you? Why would you force someone to have to get online to play by themselves? I mean, right. It seems like a stupid ploy. It and has like like. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, like the example you gave, if like if I couldn't play any games just because PSN would, was down, regardless if I wanted to play multiplayer or single player. I mean, when the PSN was down, you know, I could still play like single player games, and if I couldn't even do that, like if this was implemented, I mean, it would just it would just be completely garbage, I would think, because there's no connection whatsoever. Yeah, like, PS3 no pun intended. would be a doorstop. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty like, much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so that's good. They're doing that, <laughs> whether we like it or not. I mean, yeah. Well, I'm, they're going to start doing it more because in the future, it's there's going to once they have the ability to kind of protect themselves from hackers. Uh, to a better extent, I mean, we're going to start downloading games from the PlayStation Store and and Xbox Live, and we may not even need a disc anymore. Well, um, at least on some, you know, because they do that now with some games. A company that's taking the same <clears throat> avenue and the same perspective is um, Ubisoft, who makes Assassin's Creed. So, like, yeah, the, I so think the new online. Assassin's Creed is actually going to have a similar sort of system where you need to be signed in and the reason diablo like blizzard gives for diablo 3 is is like overall functionality of like syncing achievements and and items and stuff like that and getting the best possible experience so they're trying to make it seem like it's 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 so the game plays better and you get the full experience but at the same time you should be able to sacrifice experience if you don't have an internet connection yeah, I mean, like, are there any even, like, legit, you know, pros to having single-player be forced to be playing online? I mean, or is that just, you know, their word of mouth trying to convince people? Because, I mean, I played StarCraft for, like, seven, eight years, and you could still play that yeah. and have the the so-called experience, like, on the campaign and whatever without internet. I mean, so unless they've, like, completely, you know... Well, even StarCraft like, Two requires you to like it has a, like a uh, like a different version of this where you have to, in order to play, you have to log in to your account once every thirty days, which mm-hmm. seems to make like that seems fair. Like you're gonna have internet at least one time in the, in the past thirty days. So, yeah, I mean, uh, Star uh, the regular StarCraft, uh, both the, that and the expansion, they had that too. But I think it was like three months but um i haven't played starcraft 2 so i don't know how theirs works but i mean just to force someone to always have to be online you know regardless of whether their choice to play multiplayer or not i mean it like i said if if they can provide like legitimate you know you know reasons for having that you know i i'd be willing to listen but i I don't even play this game and it just seems really like fuzzy and like why are they doing this you know well in in all honesty i mean i'm not going to play the game and i pretty much always do have an internet connection, so it's hard for me to get worried about it. But, um, are you, can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Yep. yep. I think Stoops just got <laughs> booted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Again. what happened. I don't know what happened. Um, I think I'm gonna hang up on him and then call him back. We were just about to talk about broke, breaking stuff when you're mad, weren't we? <laughs> ah, he's like, I can't wait anymore! <laughs> and he broke his whole computer. <laughs> uh, well, do you want me to pick another quick topic but while you're trying to get him back? Yeah. Alright, so, discussing the whole like PlayStation versus Xbox thing kind of earlier with how Xbox got such a huge jump and it's definitely the more popular system right now. Yep. This is one of the reasons why I cannot stand the Xbox. Oh, please. I fucking hate their controllers. They're, They're the- like these <laughs> massively it's- stupid contraptions. They're not ergonomically 
This is not er ergonomical, man. That's the best way to put it. The They're stupid. The thumbsticks are a little messed up, but I don't understand. The offset. Well, I don't. I don't have a problem with them. I don't understand what your problem is. Like most people complain because the PS3 controller is too small. You know what? It's kind of funny. I always hear people complain about the controllers for both systems. Like, like if they own a 360, they'll complain about the PS3's controller being too small. Or if you own a PS3, you'll complain about you know the Xbox being too big. I can play on either, but they're so different yeah. that it's really hard to transition from one to the other on any given day. And one thing I don't like about the Xbox 360 is that the the thumbsticks are offset, and right. I actually don't like that. And on the PS3, what I don't like is that uh, the thumbsticks are a little more loose than I would like them to be. Yeah. Uh, the Xbox, you know, they're a little bit more stiff, and they have some, uh, what is that called, like a dead zone or something? Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, I don't, the PS3 could do a little better with that, but I'm so used to the PlayStation controller from the PlayStation 1, the PlayStation 2, you know, yeah. all the way from back from 98 until now. You know, yeah. I, I'm probably not going to be converted over to thinking there's another better one. <laughs> I have, like, like, my hands, like, fit better on, like, I have small lady hands. Yes, you do. <laughs> that fit much better on the. Sorry, I'm just trying to monitor for Stoob's return. Um, it fits much better on the PlayStation controller, we, and I actually have a we can notch. Both do this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I have a notch from where my my ring finger here holds the very bottom of the left joystick housing. It's from like when I sprint and stuff. Like I push on it, so, like it's from Call of Duty. Like when I sprint like too much, it creates this little bump. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see it. Um, so my hands are way more accustomed to the PS3 controller. And I, I mean, I don't have a problem with the Xbox controller, but by the time I'm done playing like a round of Halo or something like that, my hands start hurting. And yeah, I, think, I don't like using the triggers to shoot either. I. Like, in real life, it's kind of weird because I shoot a lot in real life and triggers, you know, they're great. But on the controller, I actually like the top buttons, the bumpers, or R1, L1 to be the shooting buttons. It feels like there's less travel time. Yeah. Like, yeah, with the exactly. triggers, you got to, like, pull it, like, three quarters of an inch before it starts doing anything. Mm -hmm. And plus, you got to use your middle fingers, or unless you just move your, your index fingers around a lot. But you got like on the PlayStation Three, like I use all four fingers, you know, I or you know the the index and the middle fingers on both hands. I use them on the middle fingers on the bottom triggers and my index fingers on the bumpers. Oh, really? You play and, like with like like a T Rex? Yeah, I play with yeah, I play with all of them. <laughs> oh, I can't which, do that. And yeah, on the Xbox, it's harder for me because I can't shoot as well using my middle fingers. I can throw a grenade with it. Like, oh yeah, not that hard. You know what I mean? Oh, that's so weird. It you is. I like had to that? train myself to do it. You play like a T Rex, like this? Yeah, dude. It's so easy because no, like I said it. It's so easier to like rapid fire with your index fingers because they you use your index fingers for everything. You know, it's just you, you've got the most uh, flexibility and range of motion. It just whatever so, dexterity with those fingers compared to your middle finger. So when you want to throw a grenade, you, oh yeah, just, you pull your finger up. No, they're always resting there. Like I, I straight up T Rex that shit. And How do you like, hold on to the controller? Like like a fucking champ. It's like my, a man hand. My See weak, these things? My weak man pinkies. <laughs> ah, I can barely hold it with these two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even working. I don't know how you do that. Uh, what do you what do you do, Kyle? Do you do you use your middle fingers on the bottom buttons or what? I mean, now that you now that you ask me that, I gotta he's like, <laughs> grab my controller. He's like, I actually. Like, he's like, like I play nature. with. The, <laughs> think about this. Let me see. He said, I actually play with the move all the time, <laughs> and I'm offended at your conversation well, about it before. Where are you asking about my my middle finger? Yeah, where are yeah, your middle? Do you, do you use for the, to like throw a a stun grenade or or some? Oh yeah, sort of? for like yeah for like the stuns and frags. Yeah. You you use the middle your middle finger for the buttons? Yeah, for my right hand. Yeah, for uh, like right hand's what frag, left hand is a uh, stun. Yeah, I use them to throw it. Chris, face it, you just got lady hands and you can't handle what we do. <laughs> dude, you're, you're not dude. even close to the same league as us. <laughs> my KD's higher. <laughs> you're gonna tell me now that you use your pointer finger to hit triangle too? No, I use my thumb. Like yeah, thumb. That's yeah. what some pros do. There's like, I don't know. 
<laughs> Reload cancel. <laughs> yeah, why, why? <laughs> okay, Stoobs is on Skype. He said internet is down. How is he on Skype? Which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me see. Let me... Maybe he meant to say was? Maybe, maybe it's really low bandwidth. I don't like, give a shit. Mm -hmm. Add to call. I should call. Uh, I can call him on his phone. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, how long is that going to affect your life, Snoov? Are you going to refuse to um, ever get an Xbox? Like, let's say Microsoft and Sony keep the controllers exactly the same. Is that a deal breaker? Yeah, it, it, dude. It doesn't matter. Like. <coughs> Unless I start winning tournaments like it's my job, <laughs> yeah. uh, or I come into unexpected like windfall of cash like through scratch ticket or whatever, it's not gonna happen. Like I, I can't justify going out and buying a second system when there are so many other things I love doing. Like, dude, if I'm not playing video games, which to be honest is like a once a week, if I, sometimes I'm lucky, like twice a week thing. I'm out fishing, and that's expensive. There's no denying that. And if I'm not doing that, I'm at the gym, or I'm out riding my bike at the skate park. There's just, there's no point in me going out and spending the money buying a second system when I barely have enough time to play the the one that I have and enjoy better, anyways. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Well, well, like, well, let's talk about. Uh, Sorry, I don't like your Stoobs, You are back. Yeah, <laughs> my, dad, my, dad, my dad got fired from Comcast. Is your internet still down? <laughs> I'm teleporting. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually right here. It, it should have happened. It's like two days uh, last Friday night. I got dropped twice, man. I don't know. I know. You're totally effing things up for our win streak. Oh, yeah. We're like, Stoobs, <laughs> play defense. You're like, okay, disconnect. <laughs> I, went, I, went I am watching the play. Yeah. <laughs> I went 38 and 9. Remember that game? I know. Well, and the funny thing is, too, is like during that I, it was the game on launch that you got disconnected. You're like, I'm going to camp the flag. And so if you guys, if you guys like hear them take it, don't worry because like I'll kill them almost like right after because I don't want them to see me camping. And then all of a sudden you're like, disconnect. And they're like, our, our flag has been taken. And then we're like, don't worry, Stoops has it. <laughs> And he's like, no. Nope. Oh, he yeah, again? he just got disconnected. Good fun. Good fun. Poor guy. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you know, dude, I mean, and I know this is going to sound weird, but considering we live in New Hampshire and our winters are long enough, but I would have to live in like Canada when the winters are even longer to justify <laughs> buying the, the Xbox. And I'd be like, oh, well. I mean, during the winter, that's all I do. Like, I work, go to the gym, play video games. Like, that's it. That's but the extent of my winter activities. What about in the sense of Call of Duty, which you spend 95% of your time on, Yes. is repeatedly developed for the 360? Yes, and, and I do know that, Yeah. perfect example, Black Ops was, t yeah, t it was better because there was just a couple of little nuances in the game. That were like clearly better on the on the Xbox, but you know what? I've never played with it over there, so I can't miss what I've never. Hey. <laughs> you know, I've, I, I can't miss what I've never experienced, so I'm not I'm not worried about it. It's it is what it is. I'm watching you. My problem with it is like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> How'd you get this number? Did you answer on your phone? Yeah. Oh, all right. That's I'm sorry, guys. I, I don't know what's going on here. It's fine. It's it's no big deal. Uh, don't get what all were you saying, uh, What? I said, what were oh, you saying, I, Veggie? I, you know, I probably get both systems if I have the money. Yeah. But the so, PlayStation's always going to be my go-to console because that's what I've played with since I was, you know, 10 or 11. And let's face it, you and get a lot of trophies. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you can't be switching. And, and my my best friend, you know, Kyle, the other Kyle. Uh, yeah, I was like, you guys you know, like know each he's other. A, he plays on the PlayStation too, you know, and like I don't, I mean, I play with him like ninety percent of the time. I play with people. Uh, I don't typically play, you know, in a full party. I typically play like just me and Kyle, and yeah. you know, we go trying to pub something. He's like an average player, so he's really kind of. 
just, he's good enough to defend the flags, but not good enough to take up my airspace with the chopper gunner. So it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. you know, so, I mean, so yeah, you know, I I can't change from that. You know. Yeah, I mean, I understand it, but that's how I connect with him too. Now that he's moved, you know, like a hundred miles away. Yeah, that makes sense. I understand, I guess, that people can't be buying double systems and shit. And I'll probably have my foot in my mouth when the 720 and the PS4 drop. Stoops, are you on this call? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um, <laughs> Sto- what do you, wh- which controller do you like better? Uh, I mean, uh, Xbox. Because, I, I mean, I'm a mostly an Xbox player, but... Uh, I, I don't have any problems coming to the PS3 and playing Call of Duty. I can literally turn off the Xbox and play PS3 immediately after and have no problems with the controller. I, I, I guess I, I, I'm pretty lucky in that aspect. The only thing I have problems with is um, is throwing tomahawks with the PS3. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you how do you hold your controller? Do you, like, T-Rex it? And do you with, use your- I use it with my hands. I hold it with my hands. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a pretty good idea. Well, what I like to do with the tomahawk is just like punch the controller on the floor really fast to make <laughs> sure you're going in and out. Yeah, you know, like or maybe even with like a like a muay thai knee, just like bam. You know, we <laughs> like and tomahawk. tomahawk. <laughs> I actually, when I bought the PlayStation, um, I ordered like two controllers, one that was shaped like an Xbox with the controls right and. They they were terrible. I I they they had like lag in them, and then uh, yeah. I just I just sucked it up and learned how to use the uh, the PlayStation the regular standard one, and um you know I got used to it you know shortly. Veggie, that might actually be the next um, evolution in the trick shot montage scene. <laughs> Not only like pulling off these shots, but physically doing an activity at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, to like hopping this. on one leg and then doing a ladder stall. <laughs> yeah, and then scope, you know? it's nothing if you don't post the picture in picture, like <laughs> of your body. Yeah, or just completely, I could just completely bullshit it and then just do all this random shit while yeah. I'm not really playing the game. Well, that's what um, <laughs> that's what uh, what's his name? Not juggling at the same time. Who's the guy? Who's the guy that always gets ragged on for being like really terrible at Call of Duty? And Tim he's like, Burton? no, he's like. He's a machinima director that um Junkyard. Junkyard. He posted he's on, he's on my Skype friends list. He just signed on. <laughs> oh. Add him to the call. Well, um, hey, hey, how come you're not very good at my No, he <laughs> he posted a he posted an April Fools video on Respawn of him playing Black Ops, but he posted like a live video of himself holding like the move gun and like uh, pretending yeah, that it was yeah, working yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Like that's yeah, a, I thought that was pretty. That was actually one of his best videos ever. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. People hated on him for that too. They're like, you fucking liar! Like, <laughs> like, this doesn't even work. Do they took it so seriously. Like you're just another G unit one two three. <laughs> oh my god, that's harsh. <laughs> no, seriously, they like twelve year olds, man. Like they get like picked on in school or something, and they come home on YouTube and just take it out on people. They're like, time to exact my <laughs> revenge. <laughs> Alright, um, do we want to... Uh, you, you got, Sean, you seemed hesitant to get into Battlefield conversation. You wanted to save all this, or...? Yeah, save it for another one, because, I mean, we're getting a little closer, so it, it's going to come up more and more often, and more information is going to become really available, so let's just... We talked about the first two episodes. We can skip at this one. But I kind of want to talk about this stuff. I, well, I know. It's it's actually really, really good info, but we... No, we're talking same. about it. Shut up. We're talking okay. about it. Oh, well, then fine. All right. right. Um, <laughs> so EA enacted this new thing called Project $25, which is actually... It's a yearly subscription for $25 that will give you access to a game, a full version of a game, three days before its release. So, like, Madden mm. 12 and, like, NBA and... Um, I don't know, whatever their big titles are, and I think Battlefield, Battlefield might be... Battlefield 3, maybe? It, it might be included, but I don't think it makes a difference because there's, like, a beta, so plenty of people are going to get in on it. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if it if it is included in this. Um, but then you still have to buy the game after the fact. Like, after the three days, like, you got to go to the store and get the disc. Like, you gotta you got to pay for it. 
Um, so they're charging you twenty five bucks for three days. Yeah, three days like five days or five different times, like with different games, you know. Oh, so you could do it for all of their games. Yeah, w- like with their big one title games. Five dollar three. Yeah, I mean, so it's oh, okay. it's almost like it's like a full game demo before the game comes out. Right. Which is kind of neat. It's twenty five dollars, and then whatever game that they release, basically. Yeah. Like Madden, NBA. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, what a battlefield, you know. What, okay, that, well, that makes a. I thought it was just for one game, and I was like, "Well, hell, I wouldn't pay that." No, it's <laughs> like, I mean, maybe Modern Warfare Three if you could get that three days early. I know that's yeah, not maybe, yeah. EA and everything, but um. Anyway, I don't know. I don't remember why I posted in the notes this way, but then below this, I have the fact that Battlefield Three is likely going to ship with an online passcode, which I have no problem with. Everyone. It, uh, Kyle, are you going to get Battlefield? Are you a, a Battlefield? Um, yeah, I'm actually thinking about getting it because uh, a lot of the people I game with on the PS3, like we're mostly all Black Ops people, but um, kind of trying to branch out to different FPS game, and you know, Battlefield is like the next most popular one. And with all like the trailers we've seen, you know, it looks like it's going to be like, yeah. first off, like aesthetically just amazing graphics. Yeah. And you know, I'm not, I've, I've haven't always been like too keen on graphics because all I care about really is gameplay. Like I don't care if it looks amazing as long as I can like play the game. You know, I mean, obviously I don't want it to look like like I'm playing Pong or something. But you know, right, right. decent graphics, great gameplay. But um, yeah, I'm looking to looking to get into it. Um, it's, so you, it's probably safe to say that everyone here is going to buy the game new, like yeah. uh, yeah. close to release date and everything. So this doesn't really apply to us, but. Uh, the thing the Battlefield or EA has been doing a lot recently with their games is you get a code inside the game that allows you to access multiplayer, and then if you go and trade it into GameStop, the next person that goes and and buys your used copy has to pay ten bucks for a new key code so they can play the game online. Um, I have no problem with that because I buy most of my game or pretty much all my games new. The only time I'd buy like a used game is if I wanted to go pick up like World at War right now or something. I don't even know if I could find it new. Um, so nobody has a problem with that like DLC practice, right, or online restrictions or anything. No, no, not really. Be- mostly because I know that that the industry where you trade in your games and then they're sold again. The people who make the games get absolutely no profit out of that whatsoever. Yeah. So they're protecting themselves because people are going out and instead of buying the game new, they wait for people to trade it in. They get it for you know ten dollars, twenty bucks cheaper, and they end up not having to pay full retail or even, pay any, you know, even any five dollars cheaper. Like yeah, the day after know. release, there's always a few people that bring it back, and then GameStop gets fifty five bucks, and the developer literally gets none of that. Right, and they've had to kind of evolve with that because in the past 10 years, with things like eBay and Amazon and stuff like that, now developing and now GameStop, uh, there's a lot of ways to get games used now, and that never used to be the case. You know, usually had to get a game new. It's actually funny, too, because it, the evolution of it, it just keeps on happening. And now, like, one of the ways developers would combat, like, people trading in games and stuff is by making it a downloadable game. So if you, obviously, if you buy, like you plan on buying a game that's downloadable, you can't trade it in. But GameStop's starting to sell, like, code, or or cards with codes to download those games. Mm -hmm. So they're like, GameStop's still squeezing every tiny bit out of anyone who's willing to trade games in. So now you could still bring in your, your games, trade them in, and then buy a card to go download a game. Mm. So well, and don't forget too, in the future, if they're trying to get rid of disc-based games and they're trying to make you download more and more of them, that's going to be a big hit to the GameStop right. kind of way. You know, Amazon and you know whoever sells their games used and everything. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it businesses kind of have to revolve because they have to be able to make their money, and that's part of the downloadable content. Yeah. Uh, too, because people don't take that into consideration. People are less likely to trade in their games if there's downloadable content right. uh, coming out. You know, in like a month, especially if they're getting it for free, like you do with Battlefield, as long as you bought it new. Yeah, which is actually uh, going back to the new maps, the zombie maps and stuff. It makes it look makes Treyarch or Activision look really smart because now would be the prime time for people to trade in Black Ops. Mm-hmm. Because they're getting ready for Modern Warfare Three, they figured they can go a couple months without it, but now they're getting they have the option to get a little bit more. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that that's just 
to me, a lot of people kind of dislike uh, game developers for downloadable content and that, but they don't often take into consideration that it's actually a a technique trying to get people to keep their game. Like L.A. Noir, I got L.A. Noir and I beat it in like a week. It wasn't really worth me buying, you know, in retrospect. Yeah. But I kept the game for another three or four months because there was downloadable content coming out. Yeah. So other people would have to go out and buy the game new rather than buying my used copy, you know. Yeah. Just away from them trying to recoup money from a secondary industry. The only the only problem I have with downloadable content is when they charge for downloadable content that's available on like release day. So like Yeah, it's a little bit It's annoying. like we made special <laughs> stuff that we could have put in the game, but we just left it so we could charge you five bucks. Um So that's good and great. The only other topic I wanted to talk about right now, because it's kind of like uh a little bit more current, a little more time sensitive is the pre-order bonuses for Battlefield 3. Is anyone going to pre-order? I think if we go to like Snoop, we're not, not going to do Midnight, are we? No, probably not for Battlefield 3. I think for that, I, I probably will pre-order and just go and... Because there's actually a lot of pre-order incentives for this, yeah. depending on who you do it from. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there's one from GameStop, obviously, Best Buy, Amazon. So I'm going to go through those options and well, Wait, well, I, I want to see which one's best. Is there anything that that emails you a code like at a certain date so you could pre-order it and then cancel it right after you get the code? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I don't know. I, I think they. I'm pretty sure they have some stupid system to avoid you doing that. You could forfeit. Well, that wouldn't even make sense. But I am pre-ordered from GameStop already. I did like like six months ago. So did you see you, what you're gonna get? You, I, you know, the girl behind the counter told me, but like she was just being so nice and trying to get and like flirting, like trying to get me to put five dollars down. I was like, okay, yeah, whatever, I yeah. gotta go. You know. <laughs> so I guess it just came out that anyone who pre-ordered at GameStop will get. I don't even know what this really means. It says physical, physical warfare pack, which grants the DAO twelve shotgun, which I'm assuming is nasty. Uh, flash suppressor. I don't know what that goes to. If it's an attachment, that can go on pretty much anything. And then the Type 88 LMG and Flechette Ammo, which Flechette Ammo or Flechetti Ammo, that wasn't in Bad Company 2, right? It was, what was it, like oh, Magnum or, Ammo or something like that? There was Magnum Ammo, yeah, but that can't be like a pre-order bonus because Magnum Ammo would like be a huge game difference. Right, you know? right, yeah. People that yeah, don't so, have it would suck. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, and then you get um, if from Amazon you get the dog tag pack for multiplayer. I don't even know what that is, and from Best Buy it's a spec act kit with eight multiplayer weapons and skins. The Best Buy one kind of sounds like the better, better yeah. deal to be honest. Cause... Eight weapons? Like, I wonder if they just mean you get access to the eight weapons like early, or I don't know because yeah, the spec act that like the kits I got on Battlefield Bad Company two. They're just basically guns that you already had. Yeah. And you just got to put skins on them, which is, you know, Like fine. camo or they look yeah. totally different? No, like the M16 with like, like uh, you know, jungle camo. Yeah. And then the like Barrett 50 cal. I don't remember the exact camos, but it was like, like urban camo or something. Like, it was pretty lame, to be honest, but it was also very cheap, so it wasn't yeah. a big deal. Yeah. I mean, they're getting something for nothing. Um all right, I think I think that's a good place to end it now, end the podcast, and we'll carry over some of these topics for next week. Um, we'll go around the table here, ask everyone where they can tell people to go find them. Uh, Veggie, where can people find you? Uh, YouTube.com slash Veggie530 and Veggie530 at Twitter. And at 209, no, I'm not going to give my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a message. Leave a message after the beat, please. Stoobs, are you still with us? Yes. Do you have uh, anywhere to tell people I to do. go? It's uh, youtube.com slash stoob67. Sweet. I'm going to get, get and some And you know more. what? Yeah. Next week, we got to get Stoobs to talk about his 
his uh, economic problems with breaking <laughs> things, and and uh, you know we have to see like bank statements and the whole nine yeah. yards on things he's damaged. <laughs> <laughs> I want yeah. his employees on here to tell us how mean he is at work after a game of Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know what? Well, it's funny because uh, uh, well, never mind. <laughs> yeah, save it, save it. Don't tell us now. We'll save it for next week. It's actually funny because I once killed it. Well, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Snoove, where can people find you? You can find me at youtube.com slash shoostybang, S-H-U-S-T-Y bang. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, it's at snoove603. Alright, and Kyle, how about you? Uh, my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash calmritz7, C-A-L-M-R-I-T-Z-7, or, uh, the Modern Warfare 2 forum that you're also a part of is just, a. Uh, Yep. www.mw2forum.com, which is also a Black Ops forum, but you know that's just a domain name. Yeah, you get that. Yeah, come check us out if you uh, like being a nerd and talking about uh, Call of Duty and whatnot. Nice. <laughs> and um, complaining about ghosts and famosas and yeah, and everything. Yes. Okay. It's a good conversation. <laughs> um, all of that will be in the description of this video on YouTube. Uh, so every and links to all the different articles we reference will also be in the description uh, so go ahead and clicky click on whatever you want to see and especially that like button yeah be sure to like favorite <laughs> subscribe and comment <laughs> and make an alternate account and repeat the process for me <laughs> and um, actually seriously though well, sub to everyone here if you're not subbed here Stoobs, did you just say hello Okay, we lost Stoobs again uh, you guys can <laughs> find me at youtube.com slash and youtube.com slash fake thriller where I have I'm wrapping Bro. up a let's play of God of War 3 and you can also follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash fake thriller so for veggie 530 stube 67 snoo 603 and mym 777 my name is fake thriller this has been the game speak episode 3 and we Bro. hello stubes <laughs> <laughs> We will catch you guys later.